You leave the mycelium building as if in a daze. You still can't believe it's all over. The long road has finally ended, and now the only thing left is to turn around and reflect upon the changes your actions have caused to lie in the wastes. After becoming a single living organism, the Mycelium Society continued its quest to unite the people of the wastes using not only its smarts, but also chemical weapons. Hordes of wild northerners, anarchists, psychopaths, and the heralds of chaos quickly flooded the streets of Krasnodemony. A formerly well-protected city held on for some time, but a massive fire in a commercial district quickly placed the final stop in its story. The memory of the city scattered along with its ashes. Without any ideas of how to work with the newly changed Krasnos Nemeoni and feeling uneasy in the new political climate, a ragtag factory gang broke up. Most of its former members traveled the world looking for new job opportunities. The people of Atradna could hardly cope with the raids after Dan's gang dispersed. This is why when some kind people came over offering humanitarian help and protection, they quickly agreed. Soon after, travelers started noticing something strange about the people of the small village. It was as they all had one mind. A red fighter settlement you founded, unfortunately, didn't last long, since it could not keep up with the neighbors. Gozin fled to the lands of the gasoline barons, where he died by falling into an open manhole while drunk. Under the leadership of Maxim Maximovich, the feud that was about to become a full-fledged civil war ended and became nothing but history. The now peaceful community of merchants and guards quickly grew and turned into a much larger trade hub that was always ready to offer honest jobs to the people of the city that grew around it. Haxogen finally decided that he traveled enough for his long life and settled in the great city of Trudograd. There he wrote his first post-war novel, Traveling with My Child. The book was critically acclaimed and quickly became a wasteland bestseller. Its sequel, Major Hexagen's Last Battle, didn't fare as well. After learning to cope with his dual nature, Alexander quietly deserted the ranks of Atom and went into a lifelong journey across the wastes looking for adventure and the attention of cuties. Many people remembered him as a traveling strongman, a good friend of children, and a lover of hard booze, who always called his traveling companions weird nicknames like Cho or Bob. As for you, some travelers say that they saw your dusty figure on the northern tract traveling alongside several scientists and merchants. Mercenaries, on the other hand, claim they saw you with troops completing unknown objectives in the deadly wastes. Drunker stalkers, however, swear that you helped them rummage through ancient ruins. There are lots of stories, but which ones are true? Only time will tell.